Hey diecast fans and collectors, today it is September 15th and um, me and my wife went shopping today. She got six cars and I got six cars. I bought her some of the cars that uh, you'll see. I, I'll show her cars because um, uh, it's nice for her to be able to see when we got them and stuff. We, we like doing this because it helps us remember when we got them and stuff too, not just to show them to you guys. But uh, yeah, um, I'll start off with the majorettes and then we'll go to the cars diecasts. So, um, yeah, I'll start off with the one I wasn't really sure of buying at first, but then I decided to get it. Um, my Walmart got in a brand new case of these majorettes, and man, I am liking these. I've talked to some of my buddies that collect them, they're just like, they don't really care for them, but man, people, these are a great deal. You people out there buying those expensive Hot Wheels for like seven to eight bucks for those cars, they're not worth it compared to these majorettes. These majorettes are $5, and they have suspension. And look at that detail in the headlights and all that. we got an opening part, too. Hot Wheels don't do that. I mean, they're not worth those 7 bucks, Maybe 4 or 3 but I wouldn't pay those 7 for a premium Hot Wheel. That's too much. I'm trying not to really buy them anymore. I know I just bought one yesterday. I bought the one. The square body truck, the Cheyenne with the, or whatever that truck was with the, the Impala. That one, I was hard to pass up because it was a, I like the color and everything, but yeah, I mean, if it's a car you can't live without, go for it. But I'm just saying if, if you like detailed die cast, man, I would, I would definitely go with major ed. I don't think they're to scale. Like I'm pretty sure they're not because some of these cars are pretty big. Um, but, uh, yeah, this Porsche is pretty cool. If I put this next to the Hot Wheels one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this would blow the Hot Wheels one out of the water. I mean, that that's not really fair because that one's a dollar. I think they made a premium Hot Wheels version of that car too, didn't they? I don't have it, but I, I believe they did. Man, I wish I had it so I could compare it for you guys. Or I knew somebody that had it. I could borrow it real quick or record it at their house and bring this and compare it, but I don't. So, sorry. I'm not going to get it myself because I don't really care for those ones all that much unless it's something I really like but um yeah this Porsche is pretty cool look at this thing it's got like uh lamps and, and uh, is the engine very detailed oh wow look at that they even got the, the taillights on there and everything how detailed is that motor and the motor's not too detailed but you know it's got an opening feature that's pretty cool so yeah that's the Porsche and I didn't know they made this casting this is really cool I I mean, like I said, I'm not a Corvette guy, but I like this Corvette. Look at how it opens. I do have a Hot Wheels one like this that opens, but it has a roof. I kind of wish this had a roof, but I couldn't pass this up. This looked too cool. I was like, oh, man, that, that just looks really cool. So I grabbed it. I really like this guy. 1990 Chevy Corvette. Just a red one. And it's got an opening hood. I mean, the motor, it's red. But, I mean, I could get in there and paint it chrome. But I probably won't do that. But, yeah. I just like the look of these. The tires. And one of my buddies actually said he don't like the wheels on these. I, I don't really get why. I mean, they're nice wheels, I think. I mean, look how thick. Maybe some of them are too thick or something. I don't know. Or some of them are too skinny. I don't know. But um, I'll save the ones that I, I know how people with tuners are, and I'll save those ones for last. So the next one, we've got another Porsche. This one right here, and my camera is not wanting to show the real color of that. There we go. Uh, It's like this, uh, I don't know what color this is. Like a, it's, like a, it's like a green, but it's also like a blue. I, I don't really know. It's like a mixture between yellow and green, I guess. It's not that green I like, but I do like this color. And it's another one from that set. I was excited today because I thought it was one of these ones on the back, and it's not. I still need pretty much every single one of these ones on the back. I really want to find those ones with the things on the roof. That yellow one and that blue one really... Oh, I really want to find those two. And yes, the one with the convertible roof, you can remove it. I have a couple that I got out of sets at Myers that uh, the roof does come off, and then a long time ago in Toys R Us had the yellow, and I have the yellow, and the roof does come off those, and that is pretty cool. Like I said, these are worth more than premium Hot Wheels, in my opinion. I hope they start making more muscle cars of these and stuff. I don't think they will, because I don't think Majorette really does that, but 
just even the cars they're giving us these are just so cool like i love these colors and these porsches and keep it up i love these thank you jada for making it possible for us to get these really thank you these are these are amazing now my favorite one i picked up today well uh, i don't know it's hard but my favorite one i picked up today is gotta be this lamborghini check this thing out it's blue with an orange stripe it's got an opening engine compartment uh and it's got like this orange pinstriping on it oh wow i didn't notice that's actually see-through is it really is that see-through yeah it is wow i thought it was just black that's actually really cool if you detailed that engine that'd look really cool like seriously guys don't sleep on these like we do not want to lose these in america we we had them at Toys R Us a long time ago. I know we had Tomikas, but they didn't really give us that good of ones when we had them at Walmart. I think they would have stayed around if they would have given us more of, like, the kind of cars we wanted to see rather than, like, the food trucks and the emergency vehicles and stuff. I mean, yeah, it was cool, but I think if they would have given us, like, some of the cars they get in Japan and stuff, I think we would still have them. But we don't have Tomika anymore as far as I know, but we do have Majorette and... You know, I like Majorette. I like it a lot. I'm starting to debate whether or not if I want to start buying the pink slips because they're only a dollar more and they are really cool. Uh, this was actually a pink slip one first when I got it. Uh, I have this in gold and it's a pink slip one. I have not seen that one again either or the pink Dodge Challenger. I have not seen either one of those again. So I'm glad I picked that up. But yeah, I love this Lambo. That is just a nice Lambo. That's probably my favorite Lambo in my whole collection of newer Lambos. I love that thing. All right. And, uh, we'll save the one. I think you guys are going to like the most for last. Like you JDM boys, you're, you're going to like this last one. I, I actually like it myself and I have three castings of this car now, which is pretty cool and major ed. Um, this is cool. This is a Toyota GT. 86 and it's got a uh, looks like a spark plug brand on it that is really cool i just thought this was a cool casting and you know, i don't really care what's on it i just thought it was cool i don't have something like this so i grabbed and again you got an opening feature look at that. the doors open like come on man don't sleep on these guys do not let these not sell well and leave our country because these are awesome. Major Et is awesome. I really hope we eventually get to tune-ups. I hope we get those eventually. I know you probably, some of you might think they're cringe because I got that little plastic thing. That, you know, you snap on them. It's like a little cheap plastic body kit thing you snap onto the car and make it, like, lifted or something like that. But I love those things, and I would love to get every single one of them. I just will not pay overseas prices to get them. That's, that's ridiculous. I won't pay that. But... These are amazing. I love these. Again, Jada, thank you so much. I can't wait to see what other colors come out in this because I didn't think I was going to be seeing any recolors of some of the other ones I have for quite a while. But, um, yeah, um, I got another recolor of one we've seen on the channel already. But, man, this is just a cool-looking Toyota. I love that. That is so cool. And this is the one you guys are probably going to flip about. If you like JDM, then you're going to like this one. A Nissan GTR. Look at this thing. I know we already did have one of these on the channel. It was purple, and I said when I went to my old town, I found it. I wish I knew what the other cars were that were in that case, because I have not seen that case again, and I hope I it comes to my Walmart eventually, because I want to know what the four cars are I'm missing from that case. But, uh, yeah, this this is... I don't know if this is my favorite GTR or not, because the one I got at Toys R Us I really like. Uh, the one I got at Toys R Us is like like a matte blue, and it's got black. Like I, I think the rims on the one I got at Toys R Us I, I kind of like better, but... I like this car. I've actually made a Nissan GTR, a Hot Wheels one in this color, actually. But it doesn't have, minus the stripe, but it is blue with gold rims. But, uh, yeah, th this is a really cool casting. Like, I, I don't really want to hype these up, but I do because I don't want people to start scalping these and selling these for stupid amounts of money on the internet. Uh, but, you know, right now people are sleeping on them. But 
I mean, I'm just trying to get enough people to buy them that we can keep them around. I mean, I don't want them to, like, get to any point of, like, Hot Wheels or anything like that because I don't want them to become a pain to find. I mean, some of them already are. Like, I guess that one I got, that the, the gold Lamborghini, the pink Dodge Challenger, and the uh, purple Nissan GTR. Those are kind of hard to find because I've not seen those again. The only ones I've seen are the ones I have, but I've not seen these ones yet either. So I don't know. Maybe there's like, I don't know how many cars they release in a year. I'm trying to find a YouTube channel I can figure that out from. If you guys know, please let me know down in the comments section. I'd love to know. But uh, yeah, that's the final majorette. Anything on the back? No, not really. Um... Now I'll go to the cars die casts. Uh, we did get two of one of them. My wife wants me to customize one of these. Um, these Derek Wheelmans. W Williams? Derek Williams. She wants me to customize one of these. I told her it be, might be a problem because there's going to be a hole on the side when I remove that microphone. Um, but I think I might have a way to fix that. But uh, yeah, um, there's a lot of these in my area right now. <laughs> I'm hoping she doesn't mind if I switch the wheels to some Hot Wheels wheels on this car because, oh man, I would really like to put those wheels on a Donk Camaro or something. <laughs> I'd love to make a silver Donk Camaro with those wheels. That'd look cool. But, um, yeah. Uh, she got these. Um, I got her this one because she ran out of money. Um... Cause she she buys video games and stuff, which is it's it, it's that's expensive. Um, but yeah, um, she also likes to buy cars, and I was like, you know what? If you want to buy cars, you know, if we're gonna do this together, I was like, you know, I'll I'll buy this one for you. So I bought her this ghost car, I guess. She wants Mato made her sister, I guess. We did watch the cars on the road thing. We've seen her several times, but we just let her sit there, and then she was gone. I would like that station wagon, honestly. I kind of think that one's cool. Um, And then we got three other ones. Yeah, we got a Gremlin, I guess. A Gremlin clown car, which is pretty cool. These were bad guys in the second movie. It's cool to see them coming back with them again, but like... Is he a dragster? Does he have a bigger tire in the back than he does in the front? I think he does. That's kind of cool. But yeah, she likes the clown car. She wants to find all of them. Um, she also got this one, which there's a lot of this girl in our area right now. Um, I might actually buy a few of these and surprise her and customize some of these for her because I could, I could do some stuff with these, these little things. But yeah, um, there's one more. Uh, she got this one at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Right here. Oops, they don't stand very well, do they? Let me, let me just kind of... There we go. Yeah, she got this one at O'Reilly Auto Parts. I told her if she finds another one, uh, I'll... Or if I find another one, I'll get it for her and I'll take the crown off so she can have one like with the crown and without the crown. So, yeah, because that guy realistically wouldn't keep that on all the time. <laughs> That's just like a thing, I think, for like the king from Cars 1. I'm pretty sure this guy is from Cars 1. Pretty sure. But, um, yeah, that is what we got today. And uh, I, I got this one a few weeks ago because I just like these buggy looking ones. And uh, she wants to keep the card, so she asked me to go to my storage unit and grab the card. Because she likes the card, so she can see what the names of them are. So, yeah, I, I got that one a few weeks ago. I already put it away. I didn't think you guys would want me to show them on here, but I'm I'm kind of... I'm just going to do it now, because my wife is buying a lot of them, and I'm sure she wants them on video, and she gets them so we know when we got them. And it's just cool to have the memory of when we got it. You used to be able to just put that stuff on Google Photos, but then they had to get greedy, and they will not give you unlimited storage anymore, so that got ruined. But alright guys, uh, that'll be the end of this video, and uh, I think my favorite car from this video, uh, since I already have a blue Nissan GTR, it's got to be this Lamborghini. 
I love this Lamborghini. I hope they come out with this in some more colors, like a green, maybe a pink. Just a lot of colors for this guy. I like this guy. I, I mean, this is kind of peak for me. I don't know if it can get much better than this guy. But, um, I mean, the only thing I would think would have made this better is maybe if the wheels were... No, I don't want gold. It's fine the way it is. There's literally nothing they could have done to make this car better. This is a beautiful Lambo. I love this thing. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, pretty soon, I can find one of these Porsches. I am going to go to a different Walmart tomorrow, even though I, I already spent half of my money. Um, I am going to go to a different Walmart tomorrow, and I did realize I watched a case video, and I realized I'm missing a couple of cars from the case I got yesterday. I'm missing the Willys Gasser and the blue Honda Civic, which I thought was going to look a lot cooler. I thought it was going to have the same wheels as the silver one. I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't. I might try to buy two of those so I can do a wheel swap and make one of the blue ones have the wheels the silver one has because I like the wheels on the silver one better than I do on the blue one. And I thought the blue one would have had those wheels when it came out. I saw a picture of it, like from the front on the internet, but I didn't see the wheels. I was like, oh, that's cool. And I was thinking it was going to come out with the 10-spoke uh, the wheels, but it didn't. So, anyways, guys, hopefully wish me luck on finding these Porsches because I'm still on the lookout for these guys. Maybe not that one because I think I have that one. Maybe not that one. Well, I guess I would get it if I seen it. But mainly these three right here I'm on the lookout for. I want these three, especially the two on the bottom. I want those ones with the things on the roof because that's kind of almost like having a tune-up because tune-ups have things like that where you can snap onto them, and that, that's cool. That's almost like a tune-up, and I want those two. They're probably not going to be easy to find. I think Walmart's the only one that sells them right now. I know Target did sell the emergency vehicle ones. I saw those like a couple of years ago, I think, and I was like, oh, man, it'd be cool if they would start making civilian cars. And here we are now, and they're doing that, so that's awesome. But all right, guys, I'm going to end this because this is getting too long. All right, see you later. Bye.